guys, happy Thursday. I am very happy to share with you another video about Edpuzzle, but this is a little bit different of a take. I wanna show you how you can create student projects in Edpuzzle. So yes, students can create an Edpuzzle. So if you come up here to the top right where you can create new content, when you come up here, you do have the option to create a student project. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And there's a couple of options here. The first one is the subject. So what do we want our students to write about or to, I'm sorry, to create videos about? And in this case, I want them to make a video for their internet safety unit and technology skills. So I'm gonna come here and I'm actually gonna grab the directions. Now, um, I've had this project for a while, um, but I haven't had it tied to Edpuzzle. And I thought today this would be a great thing to tie to Edpuzzle. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab this and this is the internet safety project and I'm actually going to say unit internet safety final I'm not putting it in the right place internet safety final project okay so the goal of the project is to review what they learned in this unit i'm going to go ahead and grab my directions because i've already worked really hard on these and i don't want to have to retype them all to show what you learned in the unit okay so I have this. I do want to allow my students, if they wanted to record a video, um, they could easily do that using uh, Google Slides has an option you can record right in it. So I'm going to click that they can also upload a video, but they can also find a unit, find a video that they think should be in this unit. Okay, so I'm going to save and assign. And it's going to bring up all the classes and I'm going to go ahead and add it to this class. And I'm going to post it on Google Classroom because if you post it from here on Google Classroom, when you grade it in here, it will upgrade your update your grades in Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and click assign. And that's going to then bring up what the assignment looks like. So anytime you come in, um, when you come into the assignment, you'll see the directions up top. But then down here, you'll be able to see the students and their project and you'll be able to play it from here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that now looks like inside Google Classroom. So I'm going to click over here. Um, and by default, it's going to come up to the top of the class. So this is here. I'm going to go ahead and drag it down to my unit two. I'm just going to drop it there and then scroll because that is way too much dragging for you guys. OK, um, so now I have my Internet safety final project. And if you click on that, you'll see that it did. My computer does not want to open it. Let me cl try closing this. There are directions with this and it, it just won't open. Let me try hitting refresh. Of course, when you're showing a video is when the internet decides not to work. Okay, so now let me scroll down. And this one should really stand out because it is different. Now it will let me open it and I can click view instructions. And you can see it looks just like any other assignment. Okay, um, you'll have your option to grade your student work just, just, like, just like normal, right? Um, I think this could be a really great thing. You could challenge your students to actually make the video content or just to find great video content that teaches some of the concepts. Now, one of the issues, of course, is this is going to take a little while to grade, um, but I think this is a really great final project or um, challenge project for some students. Anyway, I hope next week I can kind of show you maybe some of the projects my students have done and um, also show you how to grade this. Have a great week.